Good morning, Dr. Kramer. I'm Aaron with Hogstrite, and I want to give you a demonstration on the new LensDart LS900 optical biometer. We'll have the patient place her head in. Is that comfortable for you? Yes. Okay. We can use this occluder here to exclude one eye, so she fixates a little bit better centrally. Our device captures along the central visual axis, so um, if she moves off-center, it'll pause the scan. So. And you can blink as much as you want, okay? It's better to keep a wet cornea. So we're going to go right in. You can see that we get the nice keratometry rings here in the circle. We just want to focus these up a little bit. And we, you'll see that we get these little colored rings, which tell us when we're lined up with the central visual axis. And once we see one of those rings, we're actually going to start the scan. And you can see as she moves, the scan will pause and then come back to center as we lose fixation. And you can blink. And you can sit back now and get more comfortable. So in one shot, we're able to capture all the measurements through the cornea, the anterior chamber, the lens thickness, through the vitreous, all the way to the retina, and even the retinal thickness. We can capture pupillometry and white-to-white -white measurements as well with the device. So let's go in and look at the software. So when we open up the software, you can see all the different measurements that we were able to catch um, when the trigger was pressed. So we get the axial length, the central corneal thickness, anterior chamber depth, which is true anterior chamber depth from the endothelial layer of the cornea to the anterior surface of the lens. We can measure the lens thickness, retinal thickness, as long as the keratometry readings, the white to white, and the pupil diameter. So as we click on the axial length measurement here, it actually pulls up the screen, and you can see there are four separate colors which correlate to the four different measurements we acquired. We can zoom in on any area of this. We can show you the lens from the anterior surface to the posterior surface. And this measurement is going to probably be beneficial in the future to prove to insurance companies that there was actually cataract formation prior to doing the surgery. We can remeasure the lens thickness if needed be, or any of the measurements, by just simply moving the gates. If there was a scan that you didn't like or had some kind of error message, you can exclude the scan simply by pressing the arrow here. It'll remove it and take the line through it, and it won't put it into the measurements down here. We can look at retinal thickness again. It always opens to the same screen from this first setting. We can zoom on the retina here, and we can see that we have the inner limiting membrane and the RPE here as well. What's good about this is if you have a patient that comes in, say, one week post-op, and they're complaining that their vision just isn't as clear as they would like it to be, you can look back at this, calculate the retinal thickness, repeat the scan again, and see if the retinal thickness has changed. If it's gotten, gotten any thicker, then you can go ahead and assume there's probably some macular edema and treat early um, rather than later, and the patient will get better results. We can look at the keratometry as well. This scan was automatically excluded because there was a little bit of a reflection, so it automatically kicked it out. The interesting thing about this is it actually captures the keratometry on the central visual axis of the eye, not necessarily the center of the cornea, but actually the central visual axis. We can also look at the pupillometry readings to show how the pupil measures up so we can go through each individual scan here. If you need to recalculate any of these measurements, it's just a simple mouse click. We can do that for the white to white as well. Since we have a camera inside the camera, we capture a black and white image or this green red free type image as well. Um, and we can switch back and forth between the actual camera picture images. We can go into the IOL calculation page as well. And in this page, we would have the ability to put in each individual physician in your practice. We can put in which lenses you use. You probably use four PC lenses and one AC lens when you go into the operating room. And we can go ahead and automatically configure that based upon your name, um, simply by just entering which kind of lens it is and which formula you want to use with that. So it pre-populates the information. If you wanted to change the target refraction, make it a little plus, minus, you can automatically do it here and it'll recalculate the numbers for you. Or if you prefer your manual keratometry readings, you can enter that data here as well. Thank you, Dr. Kramer. I sincerely appreciate your time and I look forward to working with you in the future.